In this video, I'm sharing how to paint furniture high gloss without any of the fuss and without making the mistakes that I did. You don't need any fancy equipment or skills and it's actually a pretty easy process that anyone can do. We made a pretty big mistake that set us back on this project, but it still came out so good in the end. Here is what the dresser looked like before. It was in pretty good shape to begin with, so I didn't have any repairs to make. And I love this campaign style and was so excited to paint it in high gloss the moment it was in my hands. All right, first things first, we got the dresser ready for paint. We used our electric screwdriver to help us easily remove the hardware, but don't you worry, I'm not getting rid of it. Then we cleaned the surface with crud cutter to remove all of the dust, oils, and grime. Then we scuff sanded the dresser with 220 grit sandpaper and our Surf Prep 3x4 sander to roughen up the surface and remove the shine from it to help the paint stick. And then we cleaned off all of the dust with a shop vacuum and a tack cloth. And here is where things went south for us. We primed the dresser with water base 123 primer, but I thinned it out with some water so we could spray it. I probably shouldn't have thinned it out. It looked so good though, and we thought it was all gonna work until we filled the wood grain, sanded everything, and the primer started scratching off really easily. So we set it aside and let it cure before deciding what our next move was. But over a week later, the primer was still easily scratching off. It had gotten a little tiny bit better, but it was still scratching. And this primer says that after seven days, it should be as hard as it's gonna get. So we sanded all of the primer off. We made use of it though and compared our sanders while we did so to find out which one is the best sander to remove paint. We'll put a link in the description to that comparison video for you. But it still took all day long to sand all of that primer off because we had to watch the kids sand these little grooves, which these little sanding grip things that you wrap sandpaper around and a good old flathead screwdriver came in handy for us. And then Taylor sanded over everything, moving through the grits until he got to 220 grit sandpaper to make the wood nice and smooth. So then we went back to the drawing board and did what we should have done in the beginning. We primed the dresser with bin shellac based primer instead. But this time I brushed it on a couple of test spots and let it dry for an hour or so. And after that, it did not scratch at all. So we brushed and rolled it on with a mohair roller and a round zebra paintbrush. Both of these primers work well with oil-based paint and water-based paints, by the way. Then I repeated the process of filling in the wood grain texture. Since we sanded it all down to bare wood, there was a lot of wood grain to fill. I added a little bit of water to some plastic wood filler, and then I brushed it all over the dresser to fill in the wood grain. Then I let that dry for four hours, and then I sanded everything again with 220 grit sandpaper. and brushed and rolled another coat of bin shellac based primer onto the dresser. Can you guess what I did next? Yep, we sanded the primer again to smooth it out. Then we cleaned up the dust for what I hoped would be the last time. All right, we're finally ready for the glossy paint. We use this oil-based Rust-Oleum Protective Enamel in Gloss White. I used the spray can version of this paint last year, compared it to other spray paints to find the best spray paint for wood furniture, and it ended up being one of the most durable options. So if you don't wanna brush and roll this on, you could totally use the spray can version. I used a zebra fan brush and a white woven mini roller to paint the glossy paint on. 
It is oil-based paint, so everything has to be cleaned with mineral spirits and it is a pain. So I just threw away the brush and the roller afterwards. And it smells really strong. So I wore my respirator the whole entire time and I would only recommend using it outdoors. The smell of this stuff lingers for a really, really long time. The awesome thing about oil-based paint is that it levels out really well even when you brush and roll it on. And it's pretty darn durable. I found that it dripped more than water-based paint does, so I had to keep looking everywhere for drips. And then I left it to dry for 24 hours. It was dry to the touch after four hours, but it says to wait 24 hours before putting the next coat on. The next day, I filled in the crack on the side of the dresser with some paintable caulk, and with 400 grit sandpaper, lightly sanded any spots where the dust had landed in the paint while it was drying. I cleaned up the dust and painted another coat of paint onto it. In total, it took two coats of primer and two coats of glossy paint to get full coverage. We let it dry over the weekend and then put the hardware back on. If you liked this video, please hit the like and subscribe button so you can see more of our videos. Here's what it looked like before, and here's what it looks like now. Oh my goodness, I do not know if I could love it more. I hate painting with oil-based paint, but man, that glossy white paint looks so good and it feels so good too. What do you think of the new look though? Let me know if you have any questions about the process. Are you confused and not sure where to start with your furniture makeover? Don't worry, I got your back. Click the link in my comment to download our free painting checklist so you can paint your furniture as if you hired a professional to do it.